Hi guys, Green Poison to bring you another video today. I play Warframe once again yesterday or the previous time I done a build. Ah, uh, here we go. On the Sindo Prime. On how to get, in my opinion, one of the best uh, builds for the Sindo Prime. Now I'm going today, it was here. Start again. Today, I'm going to do the Bolt or Prime, my go to weapon for everything. Yesterday, or the previous episode, you didn't need any formers. No formers or whatsoever, and you got completely maxed mods. That was, as uh, that was there. Providing that you had one catalyst. A catalyst will be cheaper on the Sindo Prime than formering every single slot. Now, today, I have got a catalyst and I formed. And you're going to need about seven or eight formers to do this build. However, it's exceedingly, it's exceedingly rewarding. So, as you can see, we've got a 377.9 impact puncture with a 32.3 impact. We've got a, a uh, reload of 3.2 seconds. It's really quite long. A magazine of 89, a fire rate of 19. That's faster than the stock Soma. Okay. Just bear that in mind, okay? So, here we go, having a look here. So, first of all, we've got Heavy Calibre. This is not even remotely maxed out. This is probably one of the best sort of times to have it. It's uh, 105 damage. It's the same as the same level serration. This is good because the accuracy is not too bad that it's going to send your bullets behind you or beside you whatever it's going to go on target just about it's going to give you a bit of spread if you're going for hordes which if you're going for a puncture weapon is probably good because it has innate punch through important to know so here we go so that's the first one we've got serration same down same thing as heavy caliber except you don't lose anything we've got shred next to 30 percent to fire and 1.2 punch through so big hordes again which is why heavy caliber is fairly good is so you can um get through them all so then we've got speed trigger, another sixty percent of fire rate. So that's a total of ninety percent faster. It's insane, really. And we've got split chamber, ninety percent chance of multi shot. So eighty one of your bullets, I do believe, roughly, will be going. Well, like there'll be ninety one of the eighty nine bullets. Eighty one of the eighty nine bullets will have two bullets. I think that's what it does. But besides that, I mean, if you take that off, the, the damage goes really far down. Let's take that off. See, so damage goes 198. Split chain up, bang, straight up to 377. Then we've got uh, piercing hit. Ooh, down we go. Sp piercing hit, that's more puncture damage. So, another 30%. So, if you take that off, it goes right down to 290. So, you get a fair bit more there. We've got metal organ now, which is another 2.1 punch through. So, now we're at a total of... 3.3 punch through plus the innate punch through off the bolt or prime, which I have no idea what it is. But anyway, it goes. Th if you've got both shred and metal logo like max out, you can you can shoot through uh, the corpus doors. I know it's corpus doors, but I don't know about any other doors. You can still shoot through them. Pretty insane. And then here we've got the 48% magazine capacity bonus, which is uh, courtesy of Tainted Mag. However, it's a corrupted mod, so you lose reload speed, but really, I don't really give a damn about reload. I mean, if, if I really need to, I'll start swinging my massive axe around. Anyway, so, to see what, to see what you're gonna need, okay, so, you're gonna, I don't know why I did that. The polarities that you're gonna need to do is gonna need to get five of the, a V shape, I can't remember, uh, Madurai, Madurai, Polarities, uh, top uh, top four, and then the first one. That's what I do, and I get three of the um, Naramon polarities for the last three. This allows me to get almost uh, well. This allows me for my build to get triple. No, is it triple? Is it triple or quad or four times more um, bases on your weapon? Yeah, but as you can see up the top here, I have used a total of seven formers. Now, if you're in a dojo, you may be thinking, if you're not in a dojo, if you're in a clan, you may be thinking, why don't you use that in my dojo? Well, that's a good point, why don't you? But I'm, I'm the warlord in my clan and everyone else is making their own stuff. We're a very small clan, we don't, we've got everything we need. So I just use it on my guns. Uh, so, you know, 
that's that's what I do for Bolt. Now I'm just going to quickly show you what it's capable of. 